Yali Madad to all friends online. We are gathered here to study our book, What is Soul? Let me do some zikr to seek Mola's Madad. Ya Mola, this Nachis is not capable, Mola. Ya Mola, Ya Mola, it is only your mercy, it is only your favors that this humble slave is able to speak. Ya Mola, Madat Parma, Mushle Kusha, Madat Parma. Hasbunallah, Wani Mul Wakil, Wani Mul Mula, Wani Mul Nasi. Hasbunallah, Wani Mul Wakil, Wani Mul Mula, Wani Mul Nasi. Hasbunallah, Wani Mul Wakil, Wani Mul Mula, Wani Mul Nasi. Hasbunallah, Wani Mul Wakil, Wani Mul Mula, Wani Mul Nasi. Hasbunallah, Wani Mul Wakil, Wani Mul Mula, Wani Mul Nasi. Hasbunallah, Wani Mul Wakil, Wani Mul Mula, Wani Mul Nasi. Hasbunallah, Wani Mul Wakil, Wani Mul Mula, Wani Mul Nasi. Hasbunallah, Wani Mul Wakil, Wani Mul Mula, Wani Mul Nasi. Hasbunallah, Wani Mul Wakil. Wani mul mula, wani mul nasi. Hasbunallah, wani mul wakil. Wani mul mula, wani mul nasi. Hasbunallah, wani mul wakil. Wani mul mula, wani mul nasi. Taufik ta'i, himmat yari. Taufik ta'i. To all friends online, I'm glad to see you all gathered here to continue our study. Today we will study question number 78 along with some of the questions which were asked. In the last class, we'll try to cover it. So the question number 78 says that if every small or big things has a soul, and if this great uni universe has a universal soul, does this mean that planet, planet Earth, moon, and stars also have souls? If so, Please furnish a cogent proof of this. And very beautifully, Allama Sahib is replying to this question by saying, I wonder why this question appears very pleasant and beautiful to me. Hopefully, there is some divine favor in it. So surely he speaks in allegory saying that, that this question surely has some divine favor in it and why shouldn't it be because this question is so beautiful that when one says that everything has a soul then the question would be that this planet where we live in which we live the moon the stars do they all have souls in it and interestingly he says my dears Everything in universe is immersed in the encircling ocean of the soul of souls. Immersed in the encircling ocean of the soul of souls. So when we take this universe, the image of universe in our mind, the whole universe is actually encircled by a soul. The whole universe is actually encircled by a soul. 
so are the planets and the stars externally and internally all are surrounded by souls it is in the soul within the soul it has souls within it so again when we are looking at this universe or our planet it has its own soul and they are also encircled encircling in the ocean of the soul therefore our planet or this universe or stars or whatever you see they all have souls in it but what would be the spiritual form if everything has a soul what would be the spiritual form now if we look at this earth planet we were looking at this planet earth it's it's in the circle how do we comprehend that it has a soul and what form of the soul does it have and alava sahib replies that surely the spiritual form of the planet earth is exactly like the earth if the planet earth is appearing round the soul is also just like that as if a great angel by the command of god has made a wisdom filled and living film of it a living movie of it how do we understand that again we are trying to understand the spiritual form of these souls which are present which is present in earth planet or stars or moon how do we understand that when we take the example of air when we see air air itself has no fixed form but if it is in the water skin it is like the water skin so whatever mold or shape the air is in it takes its form for example if i were to show you the example of this bottle if it is empty there is nothing inside the air is inside and it is in the shape of a bottle if we were to take the example of a tire surely the star is filled with air and the shape of this air is in the form of a tire so very interestingly just like air soul takes the formation or the mold of the whatever object it is in it takes its shape however the difference in the spiritual form and the physical form is that the soul is living and speaking the soul itself is living and speaking when we look at air air is devoid of all spiritual qualities air it doesn't have any spiritual quality but when we take the example of soul surely soul is living and speaking in speaking form and very interestingly allah says in quran chapter 56 verse 75 but nay i swear by the falling of stars i swear by the falling of stars allah is swearing by the falling of stars meaning that all these souls of the stars actually fall upon a mu'min in individual resurrection and it is in the form of particles when a mu'min is sali goes through the resurrection it falls upon that mu'min and they are only in the form of particles this slide 
in order for us to understand how this individual resurrection in the form of particles we will go back to the last class and we had covered the this verse chapter 39 verse 6 which says khalqakum min nafsin wahidatin summa ja'alla minha zawjaha and we had understood that Allah surely has created you from single soul, then it made, and from it he made its spouse. So we understand the translation of this verse, but surely we had understood that there are cycles after cycles in Smiley Tariqa, we believe in cycles. And there was a question which was asked several times if the rank of Natik, is the rank of Natik higher than the Imam's rank? And I had replied, yes. And today we will understand how the rank is higher. So again, just to recircle back, that we are actually trying to understand today's question, question number 78, in which Allah talks about um, we are talking about this verse which Allah says in chapter 56, verse 75, that I swear by the falling of the stars. And Allah Sahib is explaining it by saying that all this falling of the stars which have souls in it, it is happening for a moment. All the souls are falling into moment when? When he or she is going through individual resurrection and it is happening in the form of particles. And then we are going back to the last class, the verse which we had done, 39 by 6, in which Allah says that he created you from a single soul and then from it he made it a spouse. In Ismaili Tariqa, we now very clearly know that we believe in cycles. Cycle continues to go on. Allah's habit does not change. It is cycle after cycles in which the changes happen. Now, uh, the question which was asked is the rank of Natik higher than Imam's rank? And for that, I have changed some slides here. Chain of light of Imamat never stops. The chain of light of Imam never stops. There was a time when Imam was Abdul Muttalib. And after Abu Muttalib, the Imam was Abu Talib, the father of Mawla Ali. During the time of Maulana Imran, whose name, his kuniyat is Abu Talib, when he was Imam, being the Imam of that time, being the embodied Noor at that time, he was at the rank of universal intellect. And Prophet Muhammad, who had gotten the ism -e azam from Maulana Abu Talib, one has to wonder, right, that if Prophet Muhammad used to go to do ibadat in Gare Hira, how did he do this ibadat without isme azam? Who gave him isme azam if Mawla Ali came after him? Do you know Mawla Ali, when Mawla Ali was born, Prophet Muhammad was 30 years old already. And he used to go from a very young age to Gare Hira to do his ibadat. So who gave him isme azam? And surely we believe very firmly that Without Imam, this universe, this world will not, not last for a fraction of a second. So if that is the case, who was the Imam? Now we do know that Maulana Abu Talib was the Imam at that time. And during his time, he was at the rank of universal intellect. And Prophet Muhammad was actually his peer. Prophet Muhammad was the peer of Hazrat Abu Talib, Maulana Abu Talib. When he was at the rank of a peer, he had the rank of universal soul. So Imam 
was at the rank of universal intellect and Prophet Muhammad being the peer at that time was at the rank of universal soul. When he was not nothing, when he was student of Imam, he was learning from Imam, he was doing his ibadat on Isma Azam, he was going to Karihira. Surely he was Amin Wasadik, he was very pious in his deeds, his actions were very pure. It is being said that even the enemy of Islam trusted him with their valuables. They trusted him blindly because he was so honest, sincere, pious. He had never lied in his lifetime. So if you if we were to look at his deeds, his ibadat, his ilm, from all the aspects, he was being prepared by Imam, whose name is Maulana Imran, to make him a natik. But he was not Natik at that time. At that time, he was a student of the Imam and he was the peer at that time. And then the time changed. What happened? Prophet Muhammad became in a different cycle. He became the Natik. When he was bestowed the rank of Natik, what had happened? He was the universal soul, the cycle changed, and he became the universal intellect. Mola Ali was born when Prophet Muhammad was 30 years old. And at the age of 40, he became the prophet. And surely Mola Ali became his wasi. And tomorrow we will be studying that article about Mola Ali, and that will be very interesting to connect the dots here to understand. What was the relationship of Mawla Ali to Prophet Muhammad? So Prophet Muhammad at that time, when he became the Natik, when he went through the process of Mutu Kabla Antamutu, or we all know the term Maharaj. When he had his Maharaj, he became the Natik. The time changed. And what had happened? He came on the seat or the rank of universal intellect. And now the rank or the seat of universal soul was vacant. And Mawla Ali filled up that rank or that seat. A new world of the souls came into existence by spiritual marriage. Every point in time, there's a different level of spiritual marriage, which is consistently happening in every cycle. Even the prophet has to start the journey from the moment and continue to go further and further in this journey to get to the level of nothing. And Prophet Muhammad fulfilled all the criteria to become a nothing. Again, if you were to go further on Gadir e Khum, uh, let me change the slide. Uh, all right, so on Gadir e Khum, Mola Ali's Imamat was announced. It is not that the Imams were not there, Imams were always there, but people did not know about, him, about them. And why was that so? Why people did not know? Imams were very quiet at that time. Why? Because they were preparing for the change in time. Because it was the time for a Natik to come. When the Natik came in, Prophet Muhammad, he brought his Tanzilat, and then came the time of Tavila. So what he did, he announced the Zuhurat of Imam. And our first Imam of this cycle is, of our cycle, of this cycle is Mawla Ali. That is the reason every action of the Imam is filled with wisdom. So if you were to look at the Imam before Prophet Muhammad, they seem to be very quiet. In fact, all our lives we heard that Imams are in Batin. And some of us, due to lack of knowledge, probably thought that Imam 
were not in this world they were there in the spiritual world which cannot be right because allah's habit does not change this physical world cannot last if there are no imams so imam is always always present in this world and surely now from the books of buzurgware din we not only know the name of molana imran or molana abu talib but we know all the names of the imams of the previous cycles for example in the time of hazrat musa alaihi salam the name of imam is molana harun we do know now that we all do know these names of the imam now when prophet muhammad became natik he announced the imamat of maula ali at the end of his lifetime at the gadir e kum announcing maula ali to be his wasi so in other words what we are understanding how the ranks change how the seats change so when we understand this spiritual marriage a new world of the souls come into existence this is what we are learning that when a moment is sali goes through the individual resurrection in the term in the context of prophet muhammad we know the term miraj what does miraj means what does individual resurrection means what does mutu qabla antu mutu means it means that during the lifetime while living one becomes united merged annihilated in the light of imam when i say imam here one can call it allah one can call it imam because we have to talk and understand in the terms of light allah is the abstract noor imam is the embodied noor prophet muhammad at his time was the embodied noor because he was the natik at that time according to the time and the cycle it can be the time of prophethood now currently we are in the time of imamat it changes so miraj happened individual resurrection happened and all the particles of the souls came into his being to accept him as a natik and that's what it means i swear by falling of the stars that every star every planet every moon or planet whatever we talk about has the soul in it now going back to our question of natik because when we are studying the ranks and seats and it confuses us so let us quickly understand it is very interesting to see that the natik is the higher rank and imam is the low, lower rank and in between natik and imam there is a rank of asas to and maula ali being the asas imam his function is to do the tawilat to do the interpretation whereas we have imam hazima who is continued from the progeny so surely natik is the higher rank when we talk of natik in terms of prophet muhammad and when we talk of ismaili tariqa and we say prophet muhammad is the first peer surely he is the first peer but he cannot be the peer of the asas look at this ranks logically look at it and understand there is natik which is prophet muhammad asas is maula ali then imam which will be imam husain then comes hujjat i have missed here hujjat and after the hujjat comes the dai so the sixth rank is peer or hujjat when we in ismaili tariqa say that the prophet muhammad was peer first peer surely he is the first peer but he is not the peer of maula ali he is the peer of maulana imran that is the confusion which sometimes makes us undermine the tanzilat 
of Quran, which was brought by Natik. Whereas we have to very clearly understand that from Hadith Saklan, Prophet Muhammad clearly said that he is leaving two heavy things for us. One is the book, first is the book, and second is the progeny. And surely Zuhurat started with the Imam Ali for this cycle. What we do need to do as Ismailis who are learning and understanding this knowledge, that the Noor is saying, the Noor is saying, let it be in Natik, let it be in Imam, the Noor, the light is saying. It is the embodied light we are talking about. Allah's light and the light of Imam or the light of Prophet, it's all same. But Allah's light is abstract light. We cannot reach. We cannot see it. But when it is embodied light, when it is in the body, for example, in the time of prophethood, our prophet, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. And in the time of Shakari, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. It is embodied nur, embodied light we talk about. And very interestingly, Prophet Muhammad says in, in his hadith that I and Ali were created from same nur. So there's no difference in the light. So how can we go one is above, one is below, if we were to look at the light? But when we talk of knowledge and learning, surely Natik's rank is higher. And the rank of peer is below Imam. It's lower than Imam. And Prophet Muhammad said that this light, which is through which I and uh, Mullah Ali were created, which is one light, it's united in Fatima. And from her, the progeny is continued. And then when we say in our dua, chapter 5, verse 67, Ya ayyuha rasulu ballik ma unzil alayka min rabbik wa illam taf alfa ma ballakta risalata wallahu yasimuka min al-nas. O messenger, announce that which has been revealed to you from your Lord. And if you do not, then you have not conveyed his message. And Allah will protect you from the people. When we study this verse, when we, when we Imagine the event of Gadir e Khum, that Prophet is not comfortable, he is scared of people to announce the Imamat of Maulali. And that can give us confusion at times when we think of ranks, that Prophet Muhammad is a peer and Mola Ali has the higher rank, which is incorrect. Prophet Muhammad was scared of people because there were so many other reasons. There were so many other reasons. People thought that he's favoring his cousin, his brother, his son-in-law. There were other reasons than to think above and below in terms of rank. The Prophet Muhammad was scared of people. He was announcing the beginning of this cycle that Mawla Ali is the first Imam, the Zuhurat started from Mawla Ali of that cycle, during that cycle. And Mawla Ali is the Asas Imam whose job is to do Tawila. So again, light is one and same. But the ranks are different. And surely that is why our peers in our Ginans have told us to seek the recognition of Imam, Shanakht of Imam. Until we do not recognize the Imam in its fullest understanding, we will have confusion in our minds and we will have difficulty to understand the delicacies in the concepts of understanding of recognition of Imam. So as we understand now that Imam Asas is a rank, light is one and same. And whoever is the Asas Imam, they are the foundation Imam and their job is to do the Tawila. 
So example would be Maulana Harun, Maulana Shamoon, Maulana Ali. These would be the example. Then comes the Imam -e Mukim. Imam -e Mukim is the title given to the Imam who is called he is the rector Imam. This is the Imam who has a higher rank than Natik. Why? How come he has the higher rank? Because he is the one who gives the isme azam to upcoming Natik. So who would have higher rank in Prophet Muhammad's context? Maulana Imran. Maulana Imran is the Imam -e Mukim who gave the Isme Azam and prepared Prophet Muhammad to be in the role of Natik. Imam -e Mukim is Maulana Imran during the time of Prophet Muhammad. And if we were to study the history of Prophet Muhammad, his father died at a very young age. In fact, when uh, his mother was pregnant, Prophet Muhammad's father, Hazrat Abdullah, passed away. And he was brought up by Maulana Abdul Muttalib. And later on, when Maulana Abdul Muttalib passed away, then he was taken care of by Maulana Imran. So he is brought up in the by the hands of Imam, being the member of the Nurani family, he's with the family. Imam -e Mukim is the one who gave the Isma Azam to prepare him for the upcoming work of prophethood. Then surely we have heard Imam -e Mustakar. Imam -e Mustakar is the permanent Imam who has the Amar. And that Imam. Hazima, Mola Ali, Mola Hussain, all those Imam who had the Amr based on the principle of Nurun Allah Nur, light upon light. They are called Imam -e Mustakar. And then there is a term Imam -e Mustauda. And that means interested Imam. And the example of Imam and Mustawda would be Maulana Hassan. We do hear that Maula Ali had two sons, Hassan and Hussain. And we do hear the term Imam for both of them. Have we ever wondered why? Maulana Hassan being the first elder son of the Imam, uh, Maula Ali, he became the interested Imam. He became the Imam -e Mustawda. He was trusted with the work of Imamat. But Amr went to Maulana Hussain. So, what did Maulana Hassan did? He returned the Imam to the right person, right Imam who had the Amr, and that was Maulana Hussain. So again, when we come back to this slide, I hope it is more clear now that we believe in cycles. We believe in cycles. We believe in Nurun Allah Nur, light upon light. We do understand briefly the concept of Hudud -e Deen. Everything is in Darjah. Everything is in the ranks. We do know now that Universal intellect, universal soul, imam, asas, these are ranks. And depending on the time, different individuals have filled up that seat. For example, when we talk of Hazrat Musa, in his time, he was the universal intellect. But Maulana Harun was the universal soul doing the tawilat at that time. So I hope that with this explanation, we are able to understand a new world of the soul uh, came into existence by spiritual marriage, by spiritual merging. And that's how we believe in the cycles. Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, when he uh, 
left physically this world, the Joma was changed and his will was read and Shah Karim became the Imam. Willingly or unwillingly, all those who are in the world had to accept his imamat. Why? A new world of, world of the souls came into existence because there was a new cycle beginning. So all the souls would leave the relationship with the previous lord of the time and connect to the new lord of the time. It happens willingly or unwillingly. This principle is mentioned in Quran. Imam being the Imam of humanity and Imam being the Imam of the righteous. This continues to go on in every time, in every cycle. So by discussing this, we have understood how it is single soul and through single soul, he made its spouse and the world of souls came into existence. So question number 78 and 77, they were kind of interlinked. We have covered in detail all these uh, concepts. These are difficult to understand. And inshallah, we will continue to repeat these concepts. So it sinks in very well. Today, we are probably listening to it the first time. We have to familiarize ourselves. And it is a good habit to continue to review uh, notes. I'm sure you're writing the notes. Re-listen to the lectures. Continue to do the personal research to be able to understand all these delicacies in the journey of the learning to properly have the recognition of the imam. And I just wanted to share with you that today we finished the part four of this book. And inshallah, next week, we will start part five. And those of you who really have become interested in taking notes, try and read these questions. So when we talk about it, you will have more understanding and you'll have more questions and you'll enjoy it more. Shukran lillah, walhamdulillah. If friends have any questions, Surely you can come forward and ask, please. It was very interesting. Thank you so much. Shukr alhamdulillah. Shukr alhamdulillah. It makes sense, right? When we yes. go on this journey, then it makes so much sense and it, you know, corrects our concepts. And I think very humbly in Jamaat because the way we think, and it is purely due to lack of knowledge, that we have not been studying Quran because we did not understand the rank of Natik. And when we understand the rank of Natik, I think our attitude towards the Quran will also change. And we will understand what Imam is telling us is the Tawila from the Quran. The light is same. There is no unch nich in that. But it's the test for moments that do we understand the way it is supposed to be understood, the recognition of Imam, and then realize and then learn from it. So it's a beautiful and interesting journey if we understand all the delicacies in it. How our priest came to Indo Park and wrote Ginans, and then if you were to study Momin Chetamni, Peer at the end talks about Natik and Imam. But somehow we do not see it critically to understand what Peer is saying to us. G. Yali Madat Niamat Saiba. So you just touched on just touched on something that I was kind of going to say. So from your lecture of today and actually a different lecture that I just heard uh, the other day regarding peers uh, from Dr. Hashem, if you know. This is exactly what he, I mean, we understood, but still when he said it and now when you say it, it made more like clear that like that because the nur, the light of the pay of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Hazrimam, I mean, I, and Imam is the same, right? It's the yes. same light. Yes. And then uh, Prophet Muhammad became our first peer. And then so his light 
transferred to the next peer and to the next peer and to the next peer. So it is the same light in the peer that was in Prophet Muhammad, which is the same light in the Imam. Yes. The light and is... then that is why, yeah, and then that is why the Ginans have so much Tawil, because it is the same light. Yes, right? it is, yes, it is the same light, mm -hmm. though the ranks are different. Yes. So it is very important when we are learning on the journey of knowledge, we do need to understand the ranks. Without understanding the ranks in detail, with all the uh, important aspects of it, we will not do justice to all these uh, individuals. And as I said that the way our attention, our understanding of Quran has been weak because somehow, somewhere, we have missed out understanding the daraja, the rank. And Imam Sultan Mamasha very clearly told us that ilm wali ru darja ba darja upar shakti hai. In order for us to climb up the ladder, we got to understand the darja. If we don't understand the darja, it will be difficult. We are much better in understanding the light. We said it is all same light. We don't distinguish in that. Light is same. But how light is the same? That's the question. And interestingly, then there are ranks. So when I say how the light is same, it is through the spiritual marriage. It is through the mirage. It is through the individual resurrection. So without merging, without going through the process of mutu, kabla, anto, mutu, die while living, these exalted ranks cannot be attained. And we do know Prophet Muhammad went through his mirage. And very interestingly, when we listen to his story of mirage and we hear this, that he saw the hand of Mawla Ali, we think of Mawla Ali as the cousin brother of uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad. But Mawla Ali is the first Imam of the cycle. But it is Maulana Imran too, Maulana Abdul Muttalib too. Why? The light is same. So what happens when we talk like that? We do this and do this. So in understanding, we have to understand the light is same. But then there are ranks. I hope I'm able to make sense here. I mean, yes. I also just uh, kind of wanted to add that, uh, well, add or um, think, you know, loudly. So then, I mean, even though, yeah, like uh, the Natik was higher, but then when the Imam became the Imam, he had the, uh, he had the, uh, what you call the uh, Amar. Amar. <laughs> so then his rank became higher than, at that point. And then there was no Natik anyway after yes. that, right? Yes. But it now was. when, so when Hazrat Mutalib was the Imam, well, so then he had the higher rank than the Natik, right? So uh, yeah, so that uh, makes so And uh, they had the Amar. Uh, imam Abdul Mutalib, or let's say Imam Abu Talib, Talib yes. was the last Imam from the cycle of Hazrat Isa. Mm -hmm. That's how we need to see that yes. Maulana Abu Talib was the last Imam of the cycle of Hazrat Isa al So I was just saying that uh, then once uh, the Imam becomes the Imam, then he has the Amar, so... Yes. Then so becomes... he becomes with the higher rank then, because, I mean, I'm, I'm... Sorry? He becomes the Mustakar Imam, the Mustakar. permanent Imam. Yes. So I have now some questions here. Um, let me look at it. What are the distinctions between the ranks? The distinctions are based on the functions. So we will have to look at the functions of each ranks to be able to understand the distinction. Then I see another question here. Is Shah Karim at the rank of Imam Mustafakar as well as universal intellect right now? Yes, currently, because it is the time of Imamat and Imam has encompassed all the ranks within him because it is this time is the uh, Dore Kash, the period of unveiling. We do not have the structure of the Hudud e Deen in current times. So it's a different times. Current times are different times. 
but we got to understand so we understand the concept of hudud e deen any other question friends so i see another question here uh, how in maraj prophet muhammad saw the hand of hazrat ali and not hazrat abu talib because abu talib gave him the bowl so see that's what i'm saying that in the time of prophet muhammad his function was to begin that cycle and do the zuhurat of imamat through maula ali so it cannot be the hand of abu talib because it would not serve the purpose it has to be maula ali because maula ali is the first imam of this cycle logically it does not make sense if uh, prophet muhammad would say it was the hand of abu talib because abu talib was the imam of the previous cycle the people had to be prepared for this coming cycle maulana sultan mahmud shah's mother was at the rank of a hujjat because um, maula sultan mahmud shah was very young uh, when he became qadi nashin so his mother was a hujjat who uh, did the work of imamat and she helped him in the work of imamat so yes she was at the rank of a hujjat if the distinction and function then how are they ranked higher or lower very good uh, question is being um the functions are higher and lower the ranks are higher and low, lower because of the change in the cycle the timing of the cycle as well as the functions so i should have said because of the time as well as the functions for example um, prophet muhammad was beginning the cycle as a natik and that's why he has the higher rank and maula ali being the asas imam who is responsible to do the tawilat being the first imam of that cycle that is why till today when we do our zikr we do not say shak ya ya kari we do not say that we say ya ali ya muhammad because these two personalities are the ones who began our cycle so thank you ma uh, hazrat abu talib uh, he passed away before uh, imam hazrat ali was uh, revealed as the is that is the imam like yes is the manifest imam right so he was he was an imam but he was just not manifested yet yes okay. and remember at that time it was the time of natik remember the light is same so maula ali was there being the imam he was there in the physical world but it, this his imamat was not announced as per se right and the at that time the light the sun of the religion was prophet muhammad but when prophet muhammad left this world physically maula ali became the son of the religion so very interestingly if we were to study quran or study the books of our buzurgware din uh, all the um, examples from the natures are given like sun without sun our planet earth cannot survive so sun allegorically is used for imam and earth is allegorically used for a moment momin is sun in the time of natik the sun is actually uh, prophet muhammad and moon is taken as the example of a hujjat and moon is given the example as uh, in the time of prophet muhammad as maula ali but then as soon as maula ali is the asas is the first imam he is the sun and maula na husain becomes the hasan and husain become the moon if you were to study it it's very fascinating how allah has created this beautiful world the nature and then how he has created on the example of nature our religion if we were to study hudud e din we'll understand why do we have 30 days in a month why there are 12 months everything is given in our religion because allah's habit does not change in our deen our deen of islam is based on nature All right so i see you tomorrow friends thank you so much for joining yali madad yali madad yali madad mola badi sewa
સેવાનો બદલો બંને જાનમાં એનાયત ફરમાવે ત્યારે સેવા કરવા આ હિંમત શક્તિ પ્રેરણા અને તંદુરસ્તી આપે હમ્બલનેસ આપે મોલા બધા એનું ઈમાન સલામત રાખે થેન્ક યુ વેરી મચ શુકર મોલા આ સમ ઓફ ક્વેશ્ચન્સ આર આન્સર્ડ ટુડે સો આઈ એમ હેપી થેન્ક યુ વેરી મચ અલા બેલી અલા બેલી શુકર યાર ઈ બધા ફ્રેન્ડ્સ થેન્ક યુ નિયાલી મતાત મોલા હેનો અજર દીન અને દુનિયા મંદ યે યાલી મતાત આમી નસીમા થેન્ક યુ ફોર જોઈનિંગ યાલી મતાત યાલી મતાત